addition and subtraction were opposites. Is there another way to say opposites? Inverse. Oh, but I still don't understand it. Uh, okay, let me take a computer. What is that horrifying monstrosity? Uh, uh, who is this? Who is the person? That's not me. Thus, I think you can you sh you would be able to use the inverse operation to make it look like you. Okay. Um, somebody undo. Uh, somebody there you go. You just said what? Undo. There you go. You just said what? Undo. So inverse and undo are the same thing. Did you, you student? There is number three discovery. Discovery number three. Student not intentionally discover. Sit down. All right. So discovery number what? Three. What did you just discover? I discovered that undo mean the same thing. As in the science lab, a hundred percent hands on school. Today we have a student, and uh, what's your excuse me? No sleeping. Wait, what? What? What's your name? How did I get here? No, uh, my it? name is Abuna Ajibari. Uh, okay, I have a gift for you, and that is your nameplate. Thank you. Today our topic is uh, very exciting, and our topic is arithmetic. Now, can you tell me what is the definition? Before that, you say our school believe in memorization is a crime. Can you take your oath? Memorization is a crime. Very nice. Now, can you tell me what is arithmetic? Arithmetic is math. Arithmetic is a study of four operations. <gasps> Operation? Are you going to do surgery on me? Okay, the surgery is done. That's the problem? Uh, what is arithmetic? Um, arithmetic is the study of four symbols that you showed me in that surgery. Very good. Can you write all four symbols nicely in a four quadrant? Okay, so uh, four quadrants. So, and then, okay, so they should have equal area now. This is addition. Yet. Subtraction. Uh, that was a mistake. A typo. Uh, multiplication. All right. So let's say, so addition is uh, like adding two number. Let's say two plus three is equal to five. Can you give me a visual representation of this statement? Okay. So we have two dots. And then we have three dots. And then now, if they come together, it will have one, two, three, four, five. Let's see those in. So five red balls. Very nice. Okay, now, can I make it a little difficult? Wow. Okay, so the subtraction is kind of opposite to the addition. Now this mm -hmm. time we're gonna take away numbers. This is coming oh. together. They're gonna moving away. So let's say I have uh, four uh, candy and I eat. I eat one candy. So I have three candy left. Can you give me a visual representation of this scenario? Okay, so you have one candy. You have two candies, you have three candies, and you have four candies. So, all of these candies, out of all of these candies, you oh, let's partition it, and then let's cross out this one, since you ate it. So now we have only one, two, three candies left. Very four nice. Four minus one is three. Very nice. Very nice. Now, multiplication is kind of similar to addition. It is kind of, you can say, you don't have to say multiplication. You can say repeated. Repeated addition? Repeated addition. You read my mind. You know, I'm going to show you what I mean. So, let's say 3 times 5 mm -hmm. is 15. Can you give me a visual representation of 3 times 5? Okay. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So, one group of five, 
two groups of five and three groups of five. So now, um, all of these are uh, will add up to five plus five plus five, which should be equal to fifteen. Thus, that's equal to five times three. So, in the hands of the school, the student uh, not only uh, learn by through experiment but also discover a student this student does just discover something never discovered before what did you discover um that multiplication is repeated addition. no you just discover something you don't even know you discover five plus five plus five is equal to five times three. Oh, five times three means that you have to add three copies of five together that's what you discover mm. so uh, the first number in the line should represent how much each copy is uh, worth, the value of each copy. And the, num the second number uh, says how, uh, um, how many copies there are. So, the number of copies. Alright, so this is the discovery number one. In Hanson School, student not only learn but discover. So we're gonna keep track of this student discovery today. So discovery number one, and we're gonna cherish that. We're gonna send this to his uh, his uh, his parent and guardians. Hopefully, the parent will, uh, will will be proud of this student. Okay, now in division, uh, I'm gonna tell you something in my advance. Division is now not not tricky, but it is similar to subtraction. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. It is similar to Subtraction. For and example, it is in repeated subtraction. It is repeated subtraction. For example, fifteen divided by three is equal to five. Can you give me a visual representation of this phenomena? Well, I know that division in English means splitting something into equal groups. Maybe this is how many groups we need. So I have to split fifteen into three equal groups. Well. I think that each group should contain five. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And now each group contains five. So maybe that's the answer. So that is right. This is student discover another thing without knowing it. But these hands on school students not only learn, but while they learn, they discover. This student just discovered Wait. something else. Can you tell me what did he discover? So the arrangement of division is that 15 divided by 3 is 5. So now the second number shows how many uh, copy, uh, how many, um, what is it, groups there should be. And 15 shows what you're dividing the gr uh, groups into, what you're dividing the groups from what you start out with and then you're splitting it into groups which start out with and the five is the copies and the five is how many there is in each group that you split very nice now now we're going to talk about another operation wow oh it seems like you don't get a scare when we talk about operation anymore what, what well happened? that's because i when i hear operations in math now I know that it doesn't refer to any surgery. Oh, wow, good. So this is not actually operation. This is a sign. We're going to talk about equal Ooh. sign. Can you tell me um, equal sign we use to separate the operations from answer? On the left side, we have operations. Operation, you know that, right? Yeah. Plus, minus, multiplication, and Divide, division. division. And on the right side, we have what? Uh, the answer. The answer. Okay. So what? But if those answers have different names throughout the throughout the different operations. That's right. So this is the math operation needed to be hmm. needed to be done, and this is what um, uh, have have been done. Results. Have been results. have been done. So for the addition, what do we call it? Sum. Very good. Sum. The result. The result is sum. Mm -hmm. So for for subtraction? Subtraction can you write it's the difference between two numbers. Right, can you so write it? When it be difference. called the difference? Alright. Can you write it by orange? The this one? What would be the result of the multiplication? Well the it would be product.
and that would be uh, what would be the result of uh, of the the division uh, quotient oh, all right now we are moving to fun part now we are moving to a fun, fun part okay so now okay now it can go both way can you give me an example Wait, of what I Cold. Uh, this is called commutative. Wait, the community? Not community, commutative. Uh, communist party. <laughs> Good try. Uh, is it? Not communist party, is commutative. Commutative. Commutative, yes. I uh, can you uh, can you write commutative? Commutative. Is that the same for multiplication? Hold on. Can you please give me an example of commutative? Well, two plus three would be equal to three plus two, right? Based yes. On that's that's, that's right. Absolutely. So let's do the the subtraction. Do you still remember what is this one? This is addition. What is this one? And then this is Very good. And then I'm going to give you uh, only one hint. This is I give you two arrow. This That's I'm going to give you one arrow. Is that a one way sign? Huh. Yeah, you can think Maybe that way. That means that each way means different results, meaning it's not commutative. Right. Mm. Okay, so six minus two is not equal to two minus six. That's correct. Can you give me another example? Hmm. Seven? Okay. Let's give a simple one. Five minus three is not equal to three minus five, is it? One more example, please. All right. Two minus one is not equal to one minus two. Very nice. What is the name of it? Well, that would be not commutative. Can you write that? Not commutative. Right here. Not. So. You can write commute. Commutative. Alright, very nice, very nice. I'm glad that you no longer say that as, as communist party. Okay, good. Alright, so this is multiplication. Well, this multiplication is... is like the same as addition, so would it also be commutative? Very nice, so why don't you give me an example? So, maybe 2 times 5 equals to 5 times 2, right? Can you give me one more example? Hmm, 3 times 6 equals 6 times 3. One more example. Hmm, 8 times 1 is equal to 1 times 8. Very nice. This is multiplication. Now we're going to do the division. Well, division is like subtraction, so is, is it also not commutative? Uh, no, I'm going to just give you the arrow and you figure that out. Well, the arrow here meant, meant to not commutative, so arrow here must also mean not Very nice, not commutative. Can you show me an example to show what, me? Oh, oh, what a scary world it would be if I kept calling commutative communist. <laughs> I know, I know, I agree. Okay, now go give me an example. So, um, maybe 6 divided by 3 is not the same as 3 divided by 6? Very nice, can you give me one more example? 24 divided by 6 is not equal to 6 divided by 24. Very nice. Uh, and what do you call it? The not commutative. Can you please write it? Not mm -hmm. commutative. Commutative. So let's... All right. Now we're going to learn something new. Wait, wait, wait. wait. You told me that addition and subtraction were opposites. Is there another way to say opposites? Inverse. Oh, but I still don't understand it. Uh, okay, let me take a computer. What is that horrifying monstrosity? Uh, uh, who is this? Who is the person? That's not me. Thus, I think you can you sh you would be able to use the inverse operation to make it look like you. Okay. Um, somebody undo. Uh, somebody there you go. You just said what? 
Undo. There you go. You just said what? Undo. So inverse and undo of the? Same thing. Did you? Student, there is number three discovery. Discovery number three. Student not intentionally discover. Sit down. All right. So discovery number what? Three. What did you just discover? I discovered that undo mean the same thing as inverse. I'm going to send it to your parent. Write it down. That inverse is equal to undo. Undo equals to inverse. Even I didn't know it. Okay. Wait, how can I clean up my face? This is horrifying. Okay. You want to use the inverse operation or undo operation? Um, I'm using the undo operation. But you just said that yes. they're the same. Yeah. Yay! Now it looks better. Very nice. Okay, now. Very nice. Now, can you show me right here? Inverse is equal to? Uh, inverse is undo. Undo. All right. So let's do this. Ten plus five. Okay. Go ahead. That's fifteen. Can you sit down? Yeah. All right. So can you show me the inverse? Well, fifteen. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Fifteen. And then we undo the changes we made to. And our then you get the. Shubon no Isaac back, right? Yeah. You start with 10, now you get the 10 back, right? Yeah, that evil person who threw something on my face. So you undo what? You, By I, undoing it. Then it got, goes all back to normal. I really have to send this home to his student. I'm sure that his parents Don't will be very proud. That. Don't send the screenshot of that ugly face. Oh, I definitely will know what to do. Okay. <laughs> so four times, what is it? Four times uh, 10. Okay. Four times 10 is equal to uh, whatever it is. 40. Uh, 40. Okay, good. Can well, you show me the undo? I would. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You write 40. Okay. And then. Uh, you want to get 10. Wait, the vision is the opposite of multiplication. So maybe I divide with the changes I made. That's right. And then you get what? Four. Oh, very nice. So in the beginning, this student had no idea about uh, arithmetic. But now, through the hands-on, the student has discovered three ideas today. So idea number one, idea number two, and idea number three. Three discovery took place today. In the hands-on school, the student learned through, uh, through experiment. And while learning, they discovered things. Thank you for watching.